Hi everyone and welcome to today's module lesson. Let's take a look at the objectives for today. The first one says, I can identify the main idea in details. The second objective says, I can explain how the photographs and pictures support the main idea. So today we are going to be taking a look at a text and we're going to determine the main idea and supporting details of that text. Let's talk about main idea and topic for a second. I want you to take a look at the anchor chart on the screen. The topic of a text is one or two words about the whole text. The main idea is a statement that tells the most important thoughts about the topic. The supporting details are facts, examples, or details to support and help to describe the main idea. How do I find the main idea? You can look at the title and headings, look at the pictures, look for words used more than once, and reread the first and last sentence. So today, we are going to be reading the book, Country Animals. First, we are going to complete a picture walk where we, where we take a look at the pictures in the text. We are going to think about, is this story fiction or nonfiction? I want you to also think about what predictions you have about this story. Now we're going to complete a picture walk of our story, Country Animals. As I click through the pictures, I want you to think, is this text fiction or nonfiction? And I want you to also think about any predictions you have about this text. I noticed that this book is using photographs to show us the different kinds of country animals. Great job participating in that picture walk. If you predicted that this text is nonfiction, great job, you are correct. Now, I will read the text aloud to you. As you are listening to this text, I want you to think, what is the main idea of this text? I want you to also think, what supporting details does the author provide for us to support that? The title of today's book is Country Animals. As I read this book to you, I want you to think, what is the main idea of this text and what are some supporting details that support that main idea. Some people live in the country. Many kinds of animals live in the country too. Deer live in the country. They eat twigs from trees. Robins live in the country. They make nests in trees. Squirrels live in the country. They eat nuts from trees. Geese and ducks live in the country. They swim in lakes. Raccoons live in the country. They wash their food in rivers. Foxes live in the country. They run and play in fields. Cows live in the country. They eat grass from fields. Mice live in the country. They eat grains from fields. Do you see animals where you live? What kinds of animals do you see? Let's take a second to discuss our text country animals using our anchor chart. First, let's start with the main topic of the text, one or two words about the whole text. Today's whole text was about animals. 
Now, let's discuss the main idea. The main idea is more specific than the topic. The topic of our book is animals, but the main idea is that some animals live in the country. Our book was specifically about animals that live in the country. To find our supporting details, we can look for facts and information about the specific animals that the author discusses. Let's take a second to look back at some of the supporting details in our... Here we are back at our text, Country Animals. We're going to be looking for some supporting details of our main idea, which is that some animals live in the country. Let's take a look. Here is a specific example of an animal that lives in the country. Our book says deer live in the country. They eat twigs from trees. That is a supporting detail, a specific example that supports our main idea. This page is another page that supports our main idea. It contains a specific example of a kind of animal that lives in the country. It says, squirrels live in the country. They eat nuts from trees. Here is another page that gives a supporting detail, a specific example of a type of animal that lives in the country. It says, geese and ducks live in the country. They swim in lakes. These are the supporting details that we're going to use to complete our graph. Now we are going to take a second to organize our thoughts into a graphic organizer. This is the graphic organizer that I will be using today. You may get a sheet of paper and draw your own version of this graphic organizer. Just make sure you have a section for the topic, three supporting details, and the main idea. Let's go over. We said that the topic of today's text was animals. The main idea of this book was that some animals live in the country. Then we went back to the book and looked at some specific supporting details, some key facts about animals that live in the country. The first detail we found was about deer, and it said that deer live in the country and eat twigs and leaves. The second detail we found said that squirrels live in the country and they eat nuts from trees. The third detail is for you to find. You may either download and read the book following the Canvas link from Raz Kids, or you can rewind this video to the read aloud and find your own key detail. When you are done, please take a picture of your paper and send it to your student's teacher so they can review it. Thank you.